Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the green screen function in Movie Edit Pro 2022. Okay, so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I have a green screen video clip and a background and I downloaded these from the Pexel website. I'll put links to those in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up Movie Edit Pro. I'm going to drag the picture of this background onto the timeline. So that will sit on the top layer and the picture of the lady or the video clip will sit on the layer below. And we're going to get this prompt here to ask us to adjust the, um, the frame rate. So I'm going to click adjust and click continue. And here we can see the lady here and then the actual background is behind and we want to get rid of the green. So let's click on the picture of this or this video clip of this lady on the phone. We'll click on that first. We're going to go over to effects and we're going to click on chroma key and then we'll click the green button here, green. It's going to stamp that out. You can adjust the threshold here now. So you can adjust the threshold to get rid of any sort of artifacts or anything that you don't like. You can just play around with these settings just to make sure the cutout is nice and clean. And when you click play, you see that the video content will play nicely and the green screen has been removed. We can improve this a little bit more by clicking on the picture of this lady. She looks quite big inside the image. So what we can do is go down to the size and position, click apply effect. And now we can start to adjust the size of it. So we can grab the handles here. You can actually press the, um, uh, you can like grab these handles in the corner. You can just maybe make her a bit smaller. And we can just drag her down to here. And we can move down to here. And on the Y axis, we can set it to something like uh, 180. And that will flip her around this side. So she's facing this way. We can drag her into the corner over here. So now we can see everything in the background quite clearly. If we click play, we can see everything's working well there. We can click on this video clip with this lady, go over to brightness and contrast and click auto exposure. And that will just adjust the brightness and adjust the contrast, and all those settings. And you can just adjust these manually as well. So you don't have to use the auto exposure. You can maybe bring the brightness down a little bit. Uh, but it looks like a nice sunny day. So maybe she's highlighted quite well. And you can adjust the gamma here as well. Uh, just to improve that video clip and try and get the picture of the woman and the, the photograph in the background kind of get the color grading uh, working better. You can also click on the actual background here and we can just do it, have a little bit of fun. So let's go to the beginning of the timeline. We'll go to the size and position, click apply effect. And then what we'll do is we will, uh, let's see, let's go ahead and could adjust the size of it right maybe the scale so in this in this here you can just left click and drag to adjust the scale of the background so we want to scale it out a bit more you can see um we're gonna have some like black borders down the side right we don't want really want that so we're going to scale it in to something like this so it covers the whole of the uh, video canvas so if we click outside and hold down the control key now we can see that it's covering the full background so when we play we're not going to have any sort of black borders down the side we don't really want that right so something like this seems to be pretty good the green screen is working quite well we can just click at the end of the timeline here press the um, uh, cutting tool here and we can cut the video clip right here and then we can delete this end part and then we'll have um, you know the, the content working quite well for us and then you can just go ahead and transition into another piece of content if you want after this so if you've got a green screen at home and you want to use move edit pro to get rid of that background this is how you do it using move edit pro 2022 it's a nice simple tutorial nothing too complicated um, and it seems to work pretty well and you can just go and add any background that you like um, to your video content let's go to file save as so we might as well just save this work and then let's just go to my desktop and we've got the green screen here let's just call it green screen and we'll save this let's close move edit pro and then inside your folder you'll have this file that you can open in move edit pro to re-edit your content at a future date let's go ahead and close this folder that's how you use the green screen function in movie edit pro 2022 don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects. That's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.